How you guys and welcome to another deep conversation with your girl Sean. I hope you're doing well on today. Happy Tuesday. Happy voting day. I hope we've all did our civic duty to go and get our vote. Every vote do count. Don't let the people discourage you from getting your vote out and doing what we need to do for your own city and state. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's jump into it. We want to get on these Real Housewives of uh, not Atlanta, Potomac people. Okay. And let's get into it. But before we get too deep in our conversation, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. But most importantly, like the video. 5,000 subs is the goal by the end of this year. And guess what? We can do it. We can do it. And if you're not a subscriber, what you wait now? If you like what you see and what you hear, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. So when I drop this, you'll be notified. You will already know. All right. So let's get into it. So my plan is to put this in rotation a little bit more, um, promptly instead of it being days later but look better late than never okay so i am not going to go through the entire episode like i would usually do on the live when i do just regular reviews of the show i just give my three talking points and i go from there the three things that stood out to me ashley and candace meet up um uh, maya lying robin a little bit and of course, we know the big, I guess four, and the big finale, which is this lion session. I mean, the burn session, okay? So I'm kind of glad it's actually refreshing to see Ashley and Candace get on one page, kind of be a little bit more cordial and not being so nasty and mean to each other. But as we all know, this is very much short lived. And Ashley is getting, at every chance she's get, she's wanting to talk about Michael's vasectomy. Can we please stop talking about this man vasectomy? Please and thank you, okay? And if I was Michael, I am putting the whole gag order on my whole wife. Will you get in front of the camera and talk to these hags? Please stop telling them about my privacies. Please. That's just me. What y'all think? But anyway, they have having that conversation. In the midst of all of that, baby, they dropped a little tea how Ashley is over here tiptoeing over there with a hockey player. And while Ashley tiptoeing, Karen is too. Mm. So what's the tea, Karen? Because Sharice been saying this for a long time. And it seems like the whispers are starting to get a little bit louder and they hollering the fact that you cheating on Ray. But, you know, we're going to let you handle that, friend. We're going to let you get your side of the story. Right now, we're just going to leave this in the rumor mill and that you ain't doing this, all right? So, they dropped that tea. We're going to move over to Mia. I don't care for Mia. I really wish that Mia can be, like, demoted down to a friend role. But whatever, she's here. Let's roll with it. And Mia is a liar, in my opinion, because didn't Mia tell us last season that she met G at the strip club in her ball gowns walking around the club did she tell us that but now she and if I'm wrong y'all please drop down in the comments and let me know but she said she met G at the strip club now she says she met her in the MIA and they had sex on the beach and she did everything she said, but P pop on the handstand. But baby, I felt like she did that too. And come to find out, me and girl, you a whole home record out here because the man was married. And I felt like you knew that. So you was like, let me do something a little strange for a little piece of change. You know, let me change his life. Let my twat do the talking. And I guess it worked, baby, because here y'all are two kids later. How many businesses here we later? Okay, I guess it worked. Home worker Mia, how you doing? So she wanna plan a whole girl's trip to strip it and go straight to hell. We already know how this is about to go and we're gonna move on. Robin wanna pick prenup, girl Robin. I'm gonna save you for last, Robin. Ashley and Wendy meet up. Ashley talks about his vasectomy again. Now 
This was where Wendy is saying that she's want to have a come to Jesus meeting and she want to get everybody on one accord and let's talk. Well, as she's saying that, here come Ashley talking about, well, I think you need to do a separate text to Giselle and to uh, Robin just to let them know that you're really sincere about this. And Wendy's like, no, I'm not doing that. And I'm with Wendy. They are not Queen Sheba's of nothing. Do you hear me? They are not... Who died and make them queen of this show? Make them queen of this friend group? Like, who told them that they were the queens? No, I am not about to send you no separate text just to show that I mean what I say. Either you're going to like it or you're not. Either you're going to come or you won't. That's all it is. And I'm actually glad that Robin, I mean, that uh, Wendy stuck to her guns, okay? So now, baby, 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 let's get down to the big grand finale. And that is this whole lion session, okay? So we get here. The women finally make it. They're complaining because they hunger is long. The bus old and dirty. Everything they can complain about, they're complaining about. And now it's time to get the show on the road. So Wendy opens up and she tells everybody, this is how the game is going to go. I want us to write out our problems. Let's address it. We can talk about it. Once we end it, let's burn it. And we're done with speaking about this particular problem everybody said okay she passed the notebooks around boom and bam so and she also says if you don't have anything bad to say you can say some positive about the person well here we go so wendy goes first she said i started this is my thing i started off let me do this she goes around she tells it she does what she do boop 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 and bop so Ashley, Candace, and Karen are the only ones who speak well of her. And now we down to Giselle, Robin, and Mia. And they was like, nope, I don't like you and I don't see it for you. So, Robin, <laughs> I was saving you for last, friend. Um, she only writes that we're oil and water. We just don't mix it. I really don't see it for you. Giselle, Giselle's like, yep, ditto. Those are my same sentiments. So, Wendy was like, Oh, okay. Well, give me your paper, girl. I'll burn it. And here come Ashley. Well, did you receive that? And we're just like, receive what? She literally said nothing. What am I supposed to receive? What am I supposed to have a dialogue about? So here comes Giselle Nick all talking and loud and in the way, talking about, oh, so you want us to write this whole synopsis? Pipe down, calm down. So Robin says, well, the only thing I want you to do is use better wording when you're talking. Don't go around telling people that I'm trying to fight you like I'm some type of thug while she doing this and all of this across the table. So Wendy is looking. And she's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Wendy is calm. Wendy is not allowing her to take her there and get her all worked up and stuff. And when we were at the, and you telling people I tried to fight you, don't lie on me. I'm not a thug. And I would never do this. It ain't acting like this. As you're the only one getting riled up loud and waving your hands in the air like you just don't care. Okay, are you trying to prove a point because you're proving the point that you feel like she was making about you? But anyway, either way, here we go. So she was like, but you did. <laughs> and she was like, no, I didn't. I know I did. I wouldn't do that. She said, why are you hollering? Like, I'm here. I'm, I'm right here. Why are you yelling? And here she goes, uh, I need this moment. So just her fault. I need this moment. Hold on, be quiet. I need this moment. So you want a moment. That's what it is. Got it. You want a moment. So she calls Sharice. Sharice, I am here with the girls. And we were at this Ashley dance party. Did you have to touch me or push me back from getting to Wendy? Sharice says no. Thank you. And I love you. So she was like, and I'm finna go on that No, I'm not finna do this bull crap because this is fake. I'm not finna do this. So now Giselle is hollering, you are a liar. See, and here go Robin, you a liar. And I'm like, 
And everybody's looking at him like, why are y'all reacting and acting like this? So Wendy was like, you can literally stop hollering. I'm right here. And my truth is that you did that. That's my perspective. That's what happened. And baby, I'm here for the shady editing people for getting up and showing the fact that baby Robin, yes, honey, boo boo, you got up and Sharice has to stop you. Robin, where are your big talk at now, hunty? Are you tweeting about this on Sunday? Because I'm sure you looking like all of a foolishness with this mess. So, I'm sure Wendy was so vindicated. was like, oh my God, I am so glad they showed this. So, she gets up as in Robin and goes out and leaves. Girl, don't nobody care about you leaving. First of all, who, who cares that you leave? So she left, leaves, I said left. So she leaves and Karen was like, what y'all did was uncalled for. <laughs> and she was like, she brought us here to get us together to fix the problem and y'all the problem. She said, y'all over here doing all this yelling. She said, and all the yelling came from y'all side. She said, everybody sitting here quietly, but y'all over there yelling. She's like, y'all the problem. She said, because you did not have to react that way. Why are you acting like this? So Giselle tried to be funny. It was like, well, I just like to talk loud. No, you don't. Because if somebody would have got crunk up on you like that, you will be saying the same thing. What you have said plenty of times. Why are you yelling? I'm right here. Y'all bother, and y'all bother because Wendy do not give y'all what y'all want. Y'all want Wendy to go back and forth with y'all. Y'all want Wendy to be bothered. Y'all want Wendy to uh, be disturbed and crying. She's not Candace. She's not Karen. Uh, she's not Mia. She's not Monique. She's not going to give y'all that. So because she sit there and it's like, that. Well, in my opinion, that's what bothers Robin. So they get up and leave, and Karen was like, this don't help the group at all. What y'all did was uncalled for, and it ain't helping Jack Squat Diddley, all right? So now Ashley said, well, now she wanted to direct everything over there to Candace and said, hey, I need to tell you something about Chris. Now, people don't like Candace. I've always liked Candace from the time she came on the scene. I've always liked Candace. Candace. Do I think she talked too much and her mouth get her in some trouble and she write a check that her whole butt can't cash? Yes. Outside of that, I like Candace. Candace has been vindicated in my opinion. We can fight about it in the comments, but that's just my opinion. So, Ashley goes and tell Candace that her friend told her that he was being a little bit too friendly and flirtatious at Miss Karen's party and here they are again showing the flashback and we saw the flashback last time and chris is not even paying attention to this girl i don't even think she noticed him but whatever that's the word on the curb and that's the thing so candace was like you was just with me why are you doing this and anytime this will happen i've always pulled you to the side and candace have said this publicly if you have an issue we can talk about it separately do not out me in front of the group or my husband. Well, you know, Ashley swears up and down that, oh, I just found this out now. I promise you, I found this out after the fact. You're lying because you told, who did she tell this last episode? Like, you already told somebody this. But anyway, either way, because they showed the flashback. So you told the story. You're lying Ashley. So Ashley says this and Candace is pissed. She is pissed and you know she asks her like why did you do this and C Ashley really don't have an answer as to why she did what she did. So in true fashion baby guess what Candace rips her a whole new one and then the other shoe drop and Ashley proves why Candace thinks she is a vindictive Blankety blank blank because Ashley then proceeds to say 
It don't feel so good when the shoe was on the other foot. And so when Ashley said that, Karen said, boom, so there it is. This is what this is all about. You want some get back. So all this stuff that we did earlier to try to get on the level playing field to be straight, you use that against me to come at me and use Chris as the way to get back at me because of what I've said about your husband. And Ken's like, which is documented. Which is this, and she brings up what Mia friend said and what Mia did and all of that. And she's kind of like, Oh, so y'all really want to do this? This is what we're doing. So Ashley's like, Oh, so if you just want to overlook it, just say that, dear girl. Just say you want to overlook it. She said, Well, okay, just like you did. Oh, you you overlooked a whole lot of things. So now Ashley said, Well, actually, it's a whole lot of uh, people who say that Chris is in the DMs and they just ain't as friendly as mine was. And then boom and bam, the show in. Okay, let me read the people real quick. And all the people I want to read is Ashley and Robin. Ashley, girl, you're full of crap. And if you just wanted to get on some get back, then just say you want to get on some get back. And now that Chris is in the hot seat because of Michael is gone, now you want to use this to your advantage and go after Candace. You are a low down, dirty so-and-so, 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 because it ain't even that. And as much as Chris has been around in this group, now all of a sudden he finna be the creeper. Nah, boo. Ashley, you are very trifling for this. And you're wanting to have an issue just so you can have an issue. Girl, if you need a storyline, just say that. But I'm assuming you getting a divorce and trying to hold on to the money and still get pregnant on the slit so you can get an extra piece of this child support check coming in ain't good enough. So let me use Chris as the way to have another storyline. Move right on along forehead in the words of Candace. Now let's get on Robin. Robin, I guess the people have told you that we about to fire you. So you need to step it up a little bit. And now you're going all out and beyond. Can't, Robin, what you doing? This is not you. It's not becoming. You getting all mad, hype, and crazy over nothing. When you literally got up, about to walk over there in her face, and she told you, your Baltimore means absolutely nothing to me. Calm down. And you worried about if your man's still over there cheating on you and make sure you don't mess up the people's money again the second, third, fourth, and fifth time around. Okay, Robin? How about you worry about that? Why are you so pressed by Wendy? Is it because she has a husband and her husband do well by her and he's supporting her through all the things that he haven't cheated on her oh wait that may not be it um of course it is that's exactly what it is and that's why you and Giselle are in cahoots about what's going on with hating Wendy because y'all are so very much jealous of her but you don't want to be and because y'all are light skinned with green eyes y'all feel like y'all have supposed to have it all and y'all don't so you choose by going around being miserable and starting stuff and being in places where you don't really need to be B. How about you worried about answering those emails from last season and get your hats in these? Are we done reading her? I guess we are. Robin, no. And this is my thing because you're trying too hard. I feel like they do need to go ahead and fire you and do what they said they was going to do last time. Only reason why Robin is still here and this is true, T, is because Monique Samuels left the show. Other than Robin was not supposed to come back. At least that's the word on the curb and allegedly, all right? But either way, either way, that's all I got. The girls brought it this season. Already this episode was good. And next week episode is going to be even better because of J Candace is going to go in on Giselle for the mess all right we know giselle is always going to attach herself to somebody's husband and how they the problem and she's always the innocent one and we finna get right into it and baby i cannot wait all right you guys y'all drop down in the comments and tell me what you think and let's finish our conversation there i'll see you guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye